So yeah, half pint container. <laughs> Tell us all about it. Yeah, I uh, have teased it on um, Instagram. I uploaded a, I mean, in in your absence, I logged on to the number one crude <laughs> mistakes account and posted a picture. And of course, all the bells and alarm whistles went in your email, like uh, an unauthorized log on and whatnot. So, yeah, it, it did say it was from Norway. So I did have a pretty good idea what was going on. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was kind of expecting it. But yeah, so I posted a picture of uh, the lorry bringing the container and then I posted a, a side by side picture of a, a lorry with a different <laughs> color lifting the container. It's like, all right, so it's, a, it's a start and end of a saga. So yeah, I don't uh, have a container anymore. How do you feel about that? It's, it's it's I feel good. I mean, it's uh, I mean, I'm not a container guy, obviously. Um, and now you know that. <laughs> now I know that. I mean, yeah. yeah, I want a container, but it is the, the reality is that they are huge, <laughs> and of course, <laughs> and I yet mean, not big enough. Exactly. And yeah, yeah. Not big enough. Yeah. Um, you're in a you're in a space, and you're of course you're using a, a measuring tape in uh, two dimensions and you can of course also put it up vertically and try to visualize how big it is but once they just plant it down next to your house it's like holy crap and that was not the biggest problem but i realized the place where i have envisioned it um, down in the corner of our lot it uh, wouldn't really fit in with the configuration of uh, basically extending it and the access to it and so yeah so I took a decision and uh, put it out for sale and sold it for more than I bought it for. So pleased, um, of course, uh, taking into account the, the cost of transportation, I still lost uh, a few hundred uh, pounds on it, but I'm happy. So Could have been worse, couldn't it? Yeah, it could have been worse. I mean, I could have just kept it. <laughs> <laughs> so all that money that you got back from the container, have you spent it? Yeah, I mean, uh, getting the snips isn't cheap, and uh, yeah, now I bought a new drill. How much does so... that cost? Yeah, it's about uh, depending on the conversion rate, but uh, six hundred pounds roughly. Okay. That's not bad every fifteen minutes, is it? <laughs> no, I was kind of <laughs> like, I'm in the wrong trade, but then yeah. again. That depends on what See, you like seeing five hundred cocks a year. I mean, it's like all right, it's <laughs> but yeah, it's good money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some of them would be it must be nice for a laugh at least. <laughs> yeah, now, that's the thing though because they. they I it's... saw the weirdest thing at work today. You can say <laughs> yeah. when you come home. <laughs> yeah, how do you? But yeah, how do you discuss that over the dinner table when you get home? It's like, uh, so how was your day? It's like, don't ask. <laughs> that very much depends on what your partner works with, I guess. Yeah, I think it's worse when he says, honey, I prepared dinner for you tonight. <laughs> with those hands? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there's not enough disinfectant in the world. <laughs> We have sausages today. No, we're not. <laughs> Meatballs? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, where were we? What what we bought? <laughs> yeah, well, we mentioned that in the main episode. I, I bought the drill, uh, and I'm I'm still on the fence. Of course, I'm, I'm I keep putting the lathe in the shopping cart. And of course, I found one company that have, I mean, you you can you can split the payment into up to six payments without any interest. So that's like, ooh, if I do that, I still have cash left to buy more tools, and then I can just stretch the cost out over six <laughs> months. But yeah, I'm not. Um, I mean, I still want some features that cost more than, and would I be using it? And yeah, so it's, yeah. Do you have a project? Do you have a project in mind that you need a specific no, tool for? No, that, that's that's the thing. It's uh, I I really don't. 
I think that's the wrong way around to doing it. I mean, I mean, if you have a specific, oh, I want to do this. But if you don't, then maybe getting a tool to spark the ID, that's the way to go. Yep. Yeah. But I mean, if you want to build, if you want to turn a bowl, then you shouldn't buy a track saw, <laughs> for instance. <laughs> <laughs> well, um... <laughs> Okay, that would be an interesting video, of course, but yeah. I saw someone making a, a bowl with a, not a track saw, but a, a miter saw. Yeah. So they just, they just, they just plunged it and then they just rotated it at two degrees, plunged it, and they did that over and over and over again. And I was just waiting for it to grip and fling itself into the face <laughs> of the yes. operator. But, yeah. uh, Same thing. <laughs> <season. laughs> yeah, I've seen it done on the table saw as well a few times, and I don't like the idea of that one. Yeah, no, neither sounds that nice. No, yeah. but it's gonna be, it's gonna be this winter. But of course, lasers. <laughs> <laughs> you back on lasers now. Yeah. Oh, it's like that's a dumb thing. I mean, I, I sold the container, and then you got cash on your account, and like, all right, I can get the laser, or I can get a laser. Or I can get a, a Tormek and a drill and some, it's like, yeah, I'm drowning in the possibilities. And, uh, yeah. I can't believe you've not been offered a free laser yet. Yeah. I mean, I was hoping that uh, Fixed Fingers uh, was enough for him to route some of the action towards me, but no. Yeah. I don't know. Do you oh, know if this uh, does he he hockey he cocky, Do they make lasers? <laughs> I don't <laughs> think you would want that. <laughs> I send him a message. Uh, I want a laser. I mean, we don't make a laser. So, so? <laughs> <laughs> I never said you did. I just said I wanted one. <laughs> yeah. You you just asked me what I want. I told you. So. <laughs> uh. It's better than to asking for a pony. So yeah, yeah. Just buy a laser. Just buy a cheap one. Yeah, and I, 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 all you're going to do on it is logo everything. That's the real thing that I've realized. That's what I want it for. And of course, um, sometimes I want to put my logo on the end of a piece or something. So I don't want a flatbed one. So I thought I'll just get one of the small portable ones. But I mean, they're fucking more expensive than the flatbed yeah, ones, they and are. they are less powerful. So I just want the head of the cheap flatbed one and I just want a handle on it and can I, can I make that in a spacer? Is it is it that easy? Because I mean the the laser heads is relatively easy on uh, the Chinese uh, thingamabobs dot uh, CK or whatever is the extension for China. Um <laughs> I mean, so uh, I heard something different then. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Extension vagina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, what, what it sounded like. Uh, I'm glad it's the half pint, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lasers yeah, and vaginas. Oh, okay. The uh, flatbed ones you can raise up though. You don't. They don't need to be at the height that they're already set up. I've got feet for mine. I can. I can lift it up. You can use blocks of wood. Yeah, and I thought about I could put it on the shelf underneath my wor workbench that I can pull it out when I use it, and that shelf yeah. is also just supported with a big hole in the middle, so I can just pull it out and engrave things that is propped up underneath on a banana crate or whatnot. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Really yeah. good idea. And even the laser picker, that's which sounds like what you're describing, and that's yeah. like a thousand quids at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, it, it sounds and looks like a toy, and it's extremely expensive. And of course, I like the uh, X Tool F One, but that's like eighteen hundred quids for the base model. Yeah. And for that amount, I mean, if if I was really certain about the logo, I could just get a branding iron. That is also cool. But uh, yeah, yeah, you can't you can't change the size of your logo though. That's the problem. With the branding iron, can you? No, but you can burn it into someone's ass cheek. <laughs> yeah. Well, you probably could. If you could get them to sit still with a laser, you probably could do the same. Yeah, but well. they don't need to be sitting <laughs> still if you have a branding iron. You just have to chase them a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn, what? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Is this the cattle farmer upbringing that you went through, KJ? <laughs> My <Mine>. pride. <laughs> 
Oh, so that's where Daresta has it from. I mean, uh, yeah. yeah. I just wonder if it raised KJ's, on a farm. Yeah. I just wonder if KJ's had got the same branding on him from his parents. <laughs> so <laughs> ours, make sure he doesn't run away. <laughs> At least they didn't cut off a piece of my ear or something like that. Like the <laughs> indigenous people here do with the reindeer. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And the only thing I've bought recently is a new external hard drive for my uh, backup uh, for my all my computer files. Another one? Yeah, because the, the old one was uh, only three uh, terabytes. And I was, uh, I was when I was doing the half yearly uh backup I was, oh i can't really fit everything should i should i just trim some not uh, save all the video files or something so no i just buy a bigger one instead so i bought an eight terabyte one so, that's a chunk of cash for one of those isn't it uh, like uh, 170 quid right so it wasn't that bad so now i could just copy the entire hard drive so now so that one is is living at work instead so it's Safe. I thought you'd bought one recently while we've been recording the podcast. Oh, that was me. Ah, oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, right. Fair enough. <laughs> I bought the five one, and it's filling up real fast. <laughs> <laughs> With the length of your video clips, I can I can imagine that. Yeah, and I I've been revisiting the thought of I mean I you you can't really keep the the long clips and. Of course, I tried to be more religiously with just press record, uh, record for a minute, and then just turn it off. But here the other day, I was doing some sanding, and I just left the camera on. I did not think about turning it off. And uh, all right, that's uh, that's uh, seven gigs alone for a small clip yeah. of me sanding, which I'm going to cut down to using four seconds off. So I mean, yeah, I set the camera going a few weeks ago and uh, filmed what I wanted to film. Came out of the workshop, shut the door, came in, had a cup of coffee, had some lunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Went back in the workshop and uh, realised I was still recording a fully pitch black workshop for <laughs> over half an hour. <laughs> oh, now I feel much better about the 15 minute clip I had in my latest edit when I was just going to do a 30 second one, but I actually didn't turn off the camera. So you, I think you saw like my. Uh, my legs and part of my my backside with me working on something and then I went to the camera to start it again. Oh, it's already running. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, that is better than what I did this week. Um, um, I was going to take one of the padlocks outside and uh, do some uh, painting with uh, the, the rattle can primer and rigged up the camera, adjusted the settings and uh, pressed the button and then went to work. And then when I came back again, I pressed the button to stop the recording, and I went in, hooked the camera up to my computer, downloaded the the video clip, and it was a video clip of me picking the camera up and carrying it inside. So <laughs> I did not start the recording and recorded what I thought I would. Uh, so when I pressed the button, uh, I started it when I went in. So yeah, I have no videos of that. So, but I'm gonna paint it several times so that I, I'm. I'm going to get well, I, that shot. But. It was a couple of years ago. I was traveling between customers on a very, very quiet, single track country road. And there was two stags rutting at the side of the field, you know, fighting. And I thought, you know, this is a this is something that people travel up to Scotland to see and stuff. This is a chance, chance in a lifetime thing to video. So I got my phone out. And like you did when I played the footage back, it was me literally filming, coming in from the van window and onto my dashboard. <laughs> yeah. At which point I thought, you silly old bugger. <laughs> well, that, that, that's one of the things that it was a really big plus in buying that camera because it has indication light on the front as well, if you're recording or not. But mm. when you're out in daylight, it, it doesn't shine enough that you can see it. So, yeah. Did not realize it wasn't recording. Maybe that's something you should invent, a, a visual, a more visual thing than just a little light. Yeah. And then the battery pack for the, the microphones and... Uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, there are still possibilities of upgrading the video department, but uh, yeah. <laughs> then again, most of it can be fixed by just don't be dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
probably an easier <laughs> fix than trying to make tech do it for you. Yeah. I'm trying to uh, figure out how I can get some fancy wood turning chisels in my life at the moment, but uh, they're just a bit too expensive, I think, to talk to Michelle you. around. <laughs> do you need expensive one of those? I mean, it looks nice, but... I don't know. I can... I can everything I've done so far, the, the other chisels have been okay for, but I, I mean, you do sharpen them a lot in the project. Like yesterday, yeah. I must have sharpened the chisel six times. But is that, uh, you, don't you have to sharpen? I don't know. I just chisels that, Tim, Tim did say, I mean, the, the, the chisels came from Tim, and I'm very thankful from Turgworks for them. And he did say, but if ever, when you, whenever you get a proper lathe and you start doing some, um, you know, decent projects on it. Get some decent chisels. <laughs> so I, I, I do, I do think it's a little bit down to the chisels as well, not holding yeah. the edges they should. Mm. Yeah, that's my thing. Yeah. I mean, I'll tell you one day when I get some expensive ones, and they don't, and they're just as bad. I'll, <laughs> I'll tell you all about it on the podcast. That'll make some good content, won't it? <laughs> do you have any uh, special shops for turning stuff, like wood shops? Around where lot, you live? No, no. There's plenty of shops online. Um, so does I it think, feel like um, you would like to go there and be able to try some stuff out and talk to people yeah, who actually yeah. know the stuff and that yeah. sort of thing? I think probably Axminster Tools is probably the closest. I think there's probably one of those nearby or Rutland's. Yeah. But I'm still, you're probably still an hour and a half away from here. You're basically just minutes away from uh, Maker Central, so I mean they have a stand there, so you can uh, yeah, go yeah, and have a chat of... with them there. Actually, the wood show, the wood show, I might have to make another visit in uh, November to the old yeah. man show. There was plenty of wood turning places there. <laughs> <laughs> exactly for you to feel young. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we hinted at it in the main episode, but it's uh, it's almost time to say I'll see you next month, guys. Yeah, yeah. Time is game. flying by, really. It really is. Well, now, yeah. now it sounded <laughs> like I wasn't looking forward to it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus, uh, that already? <laughs> yeah, and it, not that at all. Uh, quite, <laughs> quite differently. No, I just realized that we have a, a thing, uh, a work trip, uh, like next week, <laughs> that I wasn't really prepared for. That's coming up. <laughs> As quickly, uh, so yeah. No, I'm very looking forward to to Norway and Skopje Festival. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it as well because I also got a hotel room in the city center at the same hotel. So I'm gonna be hammered. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that out loud? I mean, I was, I was gonna be excited. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I think that that's just a maker term, isn't it? Hammered. It's not. It's not the same as being drunk. No, I, I was talking yeah. about the Martinez one that uh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, of course, have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to uh, roll up at nine o'clock then in Oslo and find you already already hammering? <laughs> I mean, by that time, I've, I've I've had one beer, I think, and maybe a gin and tonic and maybe a slippery nipple i don't know it's, it's been a long time i'm i'm not i'm not familiar with uh, how the world works uh, anymore when it comes to going out so yeah what time are you both planning on getting in there by the way getting to uh to oslo yeah i think it was about was it six o'clock ish i came oh, i don't remember i have to check the ticket nice yeah, the question is, should you just go straight from work or should I go home first? Because then you're going to be a little bit later because traffic on a Friday. And then, uh, of course, then the kids would like to have me around putting them to bed. So, yeah, maybe I just silently uh, slip out of work and go straight to the hotel. Nice. <laughs> a quarter past four, actually, I'm okay. arriving. So it's... Plenty of time. So see if there's someone else around or I'm just going to pester Rasmus or something like that. Uh, yeah, Rasmus did think about uh, having an arrangement in the the workshop. So uh, Yeah, L last year I just uh, uh, crashed his party without telling him. That was <laughs> nice as well. Uh, <laughs> so I think I could find my way 
He did tell me that in the message to me, actually, when he invited me to the workshop this time. <laughs> what I, I just need tagged to... along with Leo. That was yeah, fine. Yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> what I need to figure out, though, is if there is parking at the hotel and if it's included or at a reasonable price. Yeah, I need a big parking space. I'm taking a the train there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm thinking, I mean, walking to his workshop is, I mean, it's doable but no, he has a decent parking fun. place outside so but then again you can't have a beer if that's an option present so, it yeah. was fine going in there by uh, by public transportation it wasn't it wasn't bad at least <laughs> <laughs> good to know good to know cool so what else is on the itinerary have all i feel like this is your gig you're in charge yeah have you heard anything no not, uh, I haven't heard anything. Are we sure yet. there is a show one? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not that bothered. <laughs> no, no, I mean, it will be fine uh, either way, I think. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I, I mean, uh, I've, I've seen the they have at least announced the dates, but nothing on the itinerary, and uh. Yeah, I've also been thinking about should we have a, a YouTube uh, something or what I just thought. I mean, we, we don't have too much time and you two are coming over. I really would like to have the ability to be spontaneous and just uh, do whatever we feel like at the moment, not having too much on the plan. So Fair yeah. enough. haven't spent too much time looking into if uh, we should get some official business done as well. <laughs> what sort yeah, of official business? <laughs> Podcast business. Oh, I mean, okay. We're not doing this for fun, are we? We're, no. this, we're, <laughs> we're close to a year now. I mean, we are into our fifth season with this episode. so We're two yeah. weeks off a year, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. That we are. Ah. So we need to plan for something... <laughs> For that, that's an event. Something special. Yeah. You two I mean, aren't any good at planning and following through with stuff like that. No. Suddenly we're going to be <laughs> one and a half year in and, oh, we should have done. Oh, okay. Oh, never yeah. mind. <laughs> yeah. I'm good at having ideas, not following them through. Yeah. <laughs> I think um, we should, I think we should take the week off and just do uh, clips of uh, all the, the last 52 shows, 51 shows. <laughs> Just have AI cut them together and see what yes. happens. Yeah. Best show ever, said Tim Turk works. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Even better than that one with Sharky on. <laughs> oh, you're never going to let him forget that one. <laughs> it was the way he kept digging a hole for himself, as he was saying. <laughs> it, was it, was rather, it was rather fun, actually, hearing that message. message. Oh. Oh yeah, we we are recording bad audio tomorrow as well. Yes, we are. Well, apparently, yeah, the rumors were true, <laughs> and <laughs> I am prepared. That are uh, you? No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm going to be in uh, meetings all day, but I'm having home office. That means that I'm not sitting in an open landscape, so I can have ah. the audios playing in the background. So I I am updated for when I'm ready to. Uh, do my part. Nice. Same Sneaky. system. Yes. So, but you have been asking us for video clips the last week. I mean, are no, you, I was ju- are, just are, in. Are you, uh, go on, Karen, sorry. Just for your own pleasure. I just see what people will do if I ask them, and it's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no limits. <laughs> As I said, be careful what you wish for. <laughs> I've just deleted them all. <laughs> <laughs> As you do the what's up theater. <laughs> yeah, no, I've been putting a little reel together and um, it's it's nearly done actually. I think I've got all the components I need now to finish that off. Like a oh. five minute reel, it feels like. I, I, the clips got longer and longer. Yeah, the, the, we do have some divas among us. Oh, I'll just send in a thirty second clip and is eleven three eleven people? No, that's not going to fit for a reel, is it? <laughs> so they have been cut a little. Yeah. I tried I've... to be quick about mine, at least. Yeah. 
Uh, I don't do quick. So <laughs> I feel I feel I'm one of those who are getting cut. <laughs> you have been cut. <laughs> yeah. Snip, snip. <laughs> yeah, sounds gonna be good. Yeah, I'm looking Bring forward that to that one. Yeah, hopefully the audience is, is happy that that project well, has risen from the grave. Well, it was, a, it was a few of the audience and half the crew in it really wanted it back, so <laughs> it had to come back. I think. <laughs> I mean, you don't need uh, you don't need uh, listeners to have a podcast. I mean, uh... no, not when you have eleven hosts. <laughs> no, not, not, one, not one, not one, not one. Everybody who's making it's having fun. It really doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> no. Yeah, maybe we'll just uh, carry on with the season thing with it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, proper seasons where we actually take a break, unlike our seasons. <laughs> we'll be on season five soon, won't we? Oh, yeah. no, this time. Yeah, that's amazing. I mean, uh, five seasons, then you are uh, official. <laughs> 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 I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been spending more time thinking about. All right. We're following the seasons. There are, I mean, since we are on the fifth season now, it, it doesn't really align up with the entire year and the weeks. So we should look into, I mean, either we should have breaks in between to get it to align with the actual seasons, or we just don't care about that. And then, all right, we're getting close to a year. Is that a nice cutoff for a, a revision of the logo? So then uh, you could have the various logo. Oh yeah, that's the that's the first year logo. That's the that could be no. Yeah, I mean no. a, a second hand, a different color, and then of course it's like uh, no. Do you see what the difference <laughs> is? And people can do uh, yeah. You don't you don't mess with the branding for at least five years. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, you can't you can't go messing with the logo, I'm afraid. Or the theme tune, yeah. <laughs> I can mess with that uh, as <laughs> much as I want. To... But yeah, are you trying to trigger him to do something? <laughs> Tell what him what he can't do stuff. No, yeah. no, I'm, I'm not that smart. He's far too smart for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're playing those games again. Um. Yeah. But still, though, the, the, the plan was a, a refinement because this was my first encounter with AI generative uh, uh, logo. So it, it was just a, a prompt at the early beginning before we either knew ourselves of the podcast or how AI works. So it's like, how would it look if you gave it the same prompt now? Because it has evolved for a year. So, yeah. Yeah, me and Michelle have been discussing my logo actually because that was um, put together a while ago and it's a bit, a bit tatty. It could be better. Be yeah, quite nice I... to get that updated, I think. And I do need some new stickers as well. So I need new stickers as well, and not thinking about changing my logo as much. But I'm wondering if there is an AI or something for video I've, I've also been thinking there is a lot of people on fiverr for next to nothing you can have them make a transition video of your logo something that, that you can use so in cool. the in, in the beginning of your videos or if you're switching between outdoor indoor in your workshop and then you're like uh, yeah, I like the old Batman. To be fair, that's the one I want. So it just can you make that into can you swap the Batman logo from my logo and make it go do 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 I'm happy. I do like the animated logos at the beginning of a video. I, I would quite like one of those. I like some of them. I mean Don't do overdo it. I mean don't use them all the time and uh yeah. Need, need something about five minutes long, I think. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> at least. Yeah, and I mean, there are some that are obviously someone on Fiverr just doing the absolute bare minimum and using some kind of template, and it's just it just looks poorly, and those those annoy me quite quite a bit. But the the nice looking ones are great. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. And, uh, and even the I mean, some of the templates ones are also decent but either like for instance in da vinci if you have to to use those templates you have to pay for it and 
I don't want to pay for it and spend weeks on learning it just to make a, a twirly logo for myself. That that I'm not that interested. So that I can outsource to someone who actually have paid for the full version. And uh, uh, if I pay five dollars and they use twenty seconds to just load my image into that template and press export on a video, that's I'm happy to pay that. Yeah, that's fine. Do with a different shape logo actually for YouTube. Mine mine doesn't fit very well on the YouTube videos. Mm. Yeah, I I made mine before. Well, the picture I drew a long time ago, so I just had to make the circular bit, and I just by chance that also happens to fit with Instagram and TikTok or whatnot. So I got away easy on that one. Yeah, I like your logo. I like KJ's, but I like his pink version more, and I've only got his white version. Yeah, and I'm thinking about, uh, it was so fun. I mean, uh, we already talked about it when my uh, oldest daughter was in the workshop, and she just uh, pointed at the wall. Oh, there's KJ. He's funny. <laughs> and then it was the stickers with your face on it, and of yeah. course she, uh, you made quite the impression on her when uh, you met at Maker Central. So... Um, <laughs> so I was thinking I do have I do have that fisherman hat in the same color that I use in my logo so I can make a real life version <laughs> of that logo so I and and there there's going to be a sticker with a QR code and a face on it at some point so uh, I mean that's I mean it's really fun if you're cosplaying your logo that's pretty cool yeah <laughs> and I was kind about... of thinking I mean I could start using it in the videos. I see people are using various kinds of hats and it's become their brands and so on, but it's huge. It's like it's like a fisherman's sombrero, so it's not, it's not very practical in a workshop. I knew while I was um, away on holiday that I'd um, be, be, be trying to think of something to get out as um, some content, even just for Instagram. So I took the two Maker T-shirts with me that I own KJ's and Malton makes and <laughs> managed to get those on a story. <laughs> Sorry, it lost you a subscriber, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. You need one of your own. I do. I Michelle actually um, made me one for, got me one for Christmas. Um, but the t-shirt is just a really weird size. It it would be the ideal sizing for you, KJ. It's really long mm. everywhere. So the, the sleeves are longer and the and the length of it's longer. It looks almost like a nighty. Well, nice. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, I was planning on uh, making a t-shirt or two, and uh, I just ordered uh, another sweater as well because uh, my brother-in-law actually wanted one for his birthday. So uh, I have actually now my uh, my logo and the hell quarter uh, on the sweater is actually out there on someone oh, cool. that's not me. That's uh, that's cool. Hmm? That is cool. Branding. So, uh, the, the branding is spreading. You can get, um, there's a company that keeps advertising, I think, on Instagram, which does like three hoodies, five t shirts, all embroidered with your logo. It's for workwear, basically, for about 100 quid. I didn't think that was a bad deal, actually. Oh, that's a well, good that's deal. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have that uh, kind of work clothes for your actual work work work? I I, I wear the same. I have three uh, polo shirts and um, matching sweatshirts, but there's no logo on it. Never 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 advertised. <laughs> oh, that's so that's so good. Uh, when you say polo shirt, I mean in <laughs> in Norwegian, a polo shirt is uh, a turtleneck sweater. <laughs> so, <laughs> just oh, God, seeing yeah. you like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, what's it called? Uh, the the artist that used that. Yeah, the, or, the like, Steve Jobs look. Steve Jobs <laughs> yeah. look, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. He's really dressing for another job, isn't he, the gardener? <laughs> yeah. Dress for the job you want. Yeah, exactly. one you have, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I want any job that's got a turtleneck. <laughs> oh. It might work on you. No. <laughs> Turtleneck crop top. Yeah, there is a. <laughs> Fashion. I think it's obviously getting time to say goodnight. <laughs> it sounds like it. We're getting to the really good bits. Yeah. Over to you.
it to you, Havar. <laughs> so that's it then. You make it sound like we're breaking up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're the one who left, but came crawling back after we. I mean, <laughs> it's not me; it's you. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. So, on that note, we'll end this half pint and rest assured, it's not you; it's us. Have a lovely. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>